5 Linux distros that offer something for everyone, from beginners to pros. The development of the Linux distro has made it so that there's at least a Linux distro for everyone. Builds are targeted towards specific users, some for businesses, gamers, and geeks, and some for users who've never touched any OS besides Windows. Hey everyone! Welcome back to the channel. If you're thinking about diving into the world of Linux but aren't sure where to start, you're in the right place. Today, we will explore five of the best Linux distributions for beginners. Each of these distros offers a unique approach to making Linux accessible, user-friendly, and efficient for newcomers. So, let's dive in. First on our list is Ubuntu. There is a reason why Ubuntu is top of this list. And that is because it can grow with the user. Starting from when you take your very first step with Linux. Ubuntu is perfectly capable of taking you by the hand just like a baby, step by step until you begin to walk properly. Developed by Canonical, Ubuntu boasts a large community and a wealth of resources. Its user-friendly interface, called GNOME, provides a clean and intuitive experience. Ubuntu is renowned for its stability, regular updates, and hardware compatibility. It also offers support for a wide range of hardware resources, has a well-designed UI, and is rock-solid because it's based on Debian. At boot up, you'll find the basic apps you need for everyday jobs on the desktop. If you want more apps, thanks to the Software Center and Snap Package, where you can easily find and install thousands of applications without any fuss. Plus, Ubuntu's LTS, long-term support, releases ensure that you receive security updates and support for five years, which is perfect if you prefer a set-it-and-forget-it approach. I can say with confidence that if you check any list of best Linux distributions you'll surely see that Ubuntu will be on it. What about a desktop? If the default desktop doesn't suit your taste, you can opt for one of the many available options. We can go on and on but we have to move on to the next. Coming up next is Linux Mint. If you ever tried Linux Mint 22 before, you'll understand that is one of the best operating systems on the planet. The OS is the handwork of a design genius. I wouldn't hesitate to recommend it to any user. For those who are used to Windows OS, Linux Mint is often recommended due to its familiar interface. It offers three main desktop environments, Cinnamon, Mate, and XFCE. The Cinnamon desktop, in particular, is known for its ease of use and resemblance to traditional desktop environments, so you can maintain your system effortlessly, especially for newbies. Although the desktop interface might be less modern than other distributions on this list, it's no slouch. The performance is top-notch and fast as many lightweight distributions. Linux Mint is free to install and use and can be downloaded from the official download website. Moving on to the third. Zorin OS. If beauty was an OS, there's no doubt that Zorin OS would take that spot. If you've never experienced this outstanding distribution, you're in for a treat. Zorin OS is designed specifically with newcomers in mind. It provides a highly customizable desktop interface that can be adapted to resemble both Windows and Mac OS, making it easier for users to switch from several desktop layouts to suit their needs. Some of these desktops include Plasma, GNOME, Ubuntu, and more. There is a pro version at $47, in which you'll get six more desktop layouts, a professional-grade suite of creative apps, advanced productivity tools, and more. Plus, Zorin OS includes a light version for older hardware. It comes with a set of pre-installed software that covers most of the basics you'd need, such as an office suite, web browser, and media players making it versatile across different machine specifications. Zorin is stable and reliable and comes third on the list. You can download Zorin OS for free from the official download page. Moving on to elementary OS. If you're looking for a Linux distribution that emphasizes design and aesthetics, Elementary OS is worth considering. 
Its desktop environment, called Pantheon, is sleek and visually appealing, as it mimics the looks of Mac OS but with its unique flair. Over the years elementary OS has never failed to impress with its clean design, performance, and stability because it is easy to use as it is classy. Elementary OS is not only user-friendly it also offers something for advanced users such as stability, speed of deployment, strong drive encryption, and most importantly security and privacy. This open-source OS offers nearly everything advanced users might need. You can download and install Elementary OS for free from the official site. Last on our list is Pop OS. Developed by System76. Pop OS is a distribution designed for both productivity and performance. It features a customized GNOME desktop environment, which is optimized for efficiency and is installed on their desktops and laptops by default. A company that creates hardware and software simultaneously, you imagine the synergy of hardware and software, there's no doubt that this OS is specially designed for the machines. Pop OS is suitable for new users and advanced users alike. For newbies, it includes the GNOME desktop customized in a way to make it feel more familiar. For tech gurus there are plenty of development tools available for use. So, friends we have to stop here for today. These are a few of the many Linux distros to cater to beginners and pros alike. Ranging from Ubuntu stable and has a broad user base, Linux Mint familiar Windows-like environment for Windows users, Zorin OS smoothly transitions from other operating systems, Elementary OS which stands out with its elegant design, and finally Pop OS Perfect, a robust and performance-oriented system. Choosing the right distribution can make your journey into Linux much smoother. Each of these distros has its strengths, so the best choice depends on your personal preferences and needs. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more content on Linux and tech drop your questions or thoughts in the comments below. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.